If you're watching this video, it's because you're going to Stagecoach and you need some help with outfits. I've got the best outfit inspo you could possibly ever get. I'm not a Texas native, but I've fallen in love with the Western wear so much that I have a complete collection of just a bunch of jewelry, outfits, things that you could wear literally every day or to festivals just like Stagecoach. All of the outfits that I show you today are going to be from Shein. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I leave all of the product links down below in the description box so that you can go ahead and shop them as well. I do have a discount code that you can use with them, which is BRIEXO to save 15% off of your order. First, before we get started, I do want to let you know that Western wear or what has motivated me or inspired me to create all of these outfits were the main points of jewelry so anything really vibrant color vibrant ring would technically say like obnoxious jewelry would be probably the right word to use for western wear but I have fallen in love so much with the jewelry pieces and I am going to be putting them together with today's outfits now if you don't have any western jewelry don't worry, any chunky, big statement piece will work for your outfits as well. But I'm going to show you the best Western outfits that you could wear at Stagecoach so that you look so good. So really quickly, I want to show you literally all of my Western jewelry that I've collected over the past years that I've lived in Texas so far. I've got bracelets. Mo mainly, I have palm earrings from Shop Indie Paradise. They are the cutest small business I have not ordered recently, but I do need to place one really soon. I'm going to go ahead and put their info right over here so you can go ahead and order for the next time you want to go to a festival. Um, I've got tons of necklaces that are just on top of each other over here, as you can see. Um, but we are going to be using this today to go ahead and style and kind of give it an oomph to all of the outfits that I'm showing you. Okay, and then I'm also going to show you the boots that I will be pairing all of the outfits with. I do have a discount code for Lane boots right here that have the turquoise blue bottoms. Um, it's going to be BRIEXO, and then you do get 15% off as well. I don't have a code for Miss Lola, but these are from Miss Lola, and they are perfect for uh, wide calves. And then I did get these from DSW from the wide calf section as well, and they also have a pair of white ones i knew they do have some in store so you could possibly find them in store if you were looking for a western booty and then i also got these from miss lola wide calf friendly as well perfect for any western outfits so these are the boots that we will be rotating in today's video so this is the first outfit I've got on green palms to go ahead and match the light green boots that I'm wearing. And then I've got a Zara dupe from Shein that I went ahead and added because I love the print, how loud it is. And then mixing it with something a little bit lighter is definitely Western in my opinion. Keep in mind, Western has so many different types of styles. And I definitely think this one is perfect and subtle for if you're not comfortable wearing western wear but this is outfit inspo number one as i said you can replace any of these items with like a solid color dress and then you know thigh high booties just like this one and then adding chunky earrings but this is literally something i'd probably pack to take to go to stagecoach myself because it's comfortable and you want to be comfortable this is the second outfit I went ahead and ordered these tribal pants from Shein. They've got the cutest length and they have the nicest print. And then I went ahead and ordered this like waffle knit top. It is see-through. That's why I'm covering my um, boobs <laughs> so you don't see my nipples. But I also went ahead and paired them with my lane boots. Now my lane boots have like blue, right? As you can see, they're blue. So I went ahead and added like blue palms and then like a blue tribal choker. I, I would probably wear this at a non-Coachella event. Um, this is just what I would wear walking around here in Texas just because this is my niche like I love everything about this outfit so much 
it's comfortable i don't have to worry about anything coming out it is heat appropriate because texas gets the most craziest heat ever so this is what i'm working with and i love it and they're simple i just went ahead and paired it with something so dramatic and loud just like the earrings and finish the look so I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Brianna, that is not a cute outfit. I promise you, it is the cutest and most comfortable outfit ever. So I've got my Miss Lola cow print boots on with this lime green romper jumper from um, Shein, which is like a Princess Polly dupe for a lot less. And then I have my big statement necklace and then the cow print earrings to go with the boots. Now, I love this outfit. Again, I'm going for something easy, breezy, especially for festival. Um, attire because it's going to be extremely hot the boots don't have that big of a heel it's literally like an inch big and they'll be perfect for walking around I this romper in a size extra large it does have a zipper but I don't use it because I can go ahead and just um, put it on it has an elastic waistband in the back so there's really no need for me to unzip it but this is outfit number three and it's definitely country and a little funky but that's the point of western wear and i love the fact that you can be a little quirky with your outfits and people will love it so this is outfit inspo number four five four okay so i've got lace like knitted lace pants from Shein and then on the bottom I just went ahead and did a black bathing suit bottom but if I had white I'd probably go with white to go ahead and match the Miss Lola white boots um, because I think that white might just look better especially when paired with like the yellow I've got like a yellow statement piece and then a big like mustard um, palms and then the star of the show is this top right here this top is so cute so I went ahead and got it because it's different and Western is all about like jeans and denim wear so this was perfect for this outfit inspo it's more like beachy hippie boho Western but I can go ahead and pair these with bell bottoms and they'll be just as cute I promise you this top is everything so if you're not the type to do really color or you want to stick to an all black or like an all one color set I definitely recommend going ahead and adding like a chunky belt or like a chain belt um, doing a really big statement earring and then having the cowboy hat as well as your western boots um, a super simple outfit you cannot go wrong with this outfit it literally is the most um, easiest and probably the most staple thing that you could probably get in your closet just some wide leg pants and then a bandeau maybe black uh, crop top um, and then pair it with a western hat which has been so popular so it's so easy to find and then possibly if you don't have a belt you could possibly go ahead and add some like chunky jewelry everywhere just so that you can have more of a statement piece this is something I would wear if I was going for a more comfortable look but yet a really basic easy outfit to go in so this is outfit number five. So this is the last outfit of the video and I went ahead and ordered a knit dress from Shein in a size extra large and it's actually see-through so I would suggest wearing like a swim bottom. And then I've got the most important part of the outfit which is a fringe jacket. You're gonna wanna wear a fringe to anything Western because the style is like really obsessed with fringe and then I went ahead and paired it with my Miss Lola boots and some neon orange uh, palm earrings that makes the outfit come together because it has like little spots of orange in it but this is literally the cutest outfit I saved the best for last this is my favorite one by far I really hope that you enjoyed all the outfits but this is my favorite one guys that was it for today's video we had a total of six outfits that you guys could possibly take and like mix it and make it your own um there's a lot that goes into western fashion and i've had to build my wardrobe to get there so don't freak out if you think that you don't have the look 
just throw on some really bright colors and ultimately the goal is to have fun and to hear country music. So I hope that all of you that go are going to stay safe and have lots of fun and don't forget to tag me in your photos if you use my video as inspiration. Um, that way I can go ahead and see it as well. So I've got more western fashion on my Instagram. Last summer I did like a whole um, like staple statement uh, Western style on there so if you just scroll down you'll be able to go ahead and see all of the outfits that I put together last summer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye! <laughs>